Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Ranking Member, for yielding. Mr. Speaker, I rise in opposition to H.R. 5. It's clear that we need long-term thinking and real changes to improve the Elementary and Secondary Education Act and give our students the schools worthy of their potential. H.R. 5 does some things right, but too many things wrong. It underfunds Title I, cutting funding to the schools most in need of our support. It allows students with disabilities to be taught at lower standards, letting those who need more attention fall through the cracks. It eliminates provisions that assist homeless students, it puts too much emphasis on the failed strategy of basing teacher evaluations on student test scores, and Mr. Speaker, it perpetuates inequality. This bill is a missed opportunity. We could and should be working on a legislation that includes more support for STEM education. A bill that has provisions to ensure that every student receives a well-rounded education that includes civics and arts and music. We should be focusing on the whole child, ensuring that every student is healthy, safe, engaged, supported, and challenged. This bill doesn't address these important issues. I cannot support it, and I encourage my colleagues to oppose it as well. I yield back. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.